Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. It's Lou. If you're new, welcome to my channel. If you guys like what you see, which I know you will, please make sure you press the subscribe button that's down below as well as the bell notification so you guys are notified every single time that I post a new video. Now, honestly, I really need to make that intro a little bit more like, you know, less. But anyways, so as you guys can tell by today's video or title, you guys know what we are going to be talking about and what we're going to be talking about is um ordering inventory now um i don't know if you guys watched my last video which was um i believe honestly no if y'all see me wearing the same outfit as i did in my last video mind your business because um i like to batch record and yeah when i batch record some of the pictures is just gonna look the same and honestly i used to change my clothes but now i don't really don't feel like it it is what it is the information is different so do not mind it if you do realize that I am wearing the same clothes. This hair video came out before this video, so just just don't pay attention to that, even though I just brought it up. But anyways, so um, I don't know if you guys watched my last video, which was um, Black Friday type of video. And I did get like a few um, DMs, like one or two DMs. And one in particular that I remember was that um, basically she wanted to order inventory for Black Friday and basically how I um, make sure that I order inventory like the right length and like, you know, what type of textures, you know, like the customers were wanting and stuff like that. And she just didn't want to have inventory and buy inventory that like nobody really wanted. So I'm just like, why not just make a quick little video? This video is definitely going to be pretty short. It's not going to be anything too, too long. Yeah, my eyes is watering. I know it's not just me. Every time I do my makeup, my eyes always tend to start watering for some reason but anyways but yeah so and i actually am i didn't do it yet but i actually am ordering um my inventory actually now i actually was supposed to have been ordering my inventory since in, since in the beginning of this week because the there is currently a chinese holiday that's happening right now so they're not going to be open all the way until the 8th but my vendor is pretty like um good with you know even though she's on vacation she does even if i do have an order she will just send it to the factory for them to at least get started on it so when they do come back you know everything can just be shipped still in a timely manner even though you know i had to wait that amount of time to actually get it shipped out so that kind of was bad on my part because i actually really just wanted a strong one month to actually work on the units but um it is what it is I'm still gonna have a good amount of time. I just wish that I was a little bit more faster. Um, and also I forgot that there was a Chinese holiday coming up. So that's just something that slipped in my mind. But um, yeah, so I'm actually in the process of ordering inventory right now and I am ordering um, approximately probably like $11,000 worth of inventory. And this is has to be one of the biggest amount that I've ever spent for, for inventory. And I think in total it's gonna be 50 um, wigs. So, and that's the most amount of week that I've ever um, purchased before. Talk about this particularly, like, quickly before I go into, like, how I, you know, actually order inventory that I think that my customer wants. But, yeah, so, like, me ordering that, I'm still a little bit iffy. I think that's why I haven't even, like, you know, purchased it yet. Um, because she already sent me the link and everything, but I'm still sitting on it because the number is just so big, like, 50 weeks. And like, you know, the amount that it came up to because I personally never spent that much before on inventory. So I guess I'm a little bit more, you know, I'm a little bit scared to like, you know, be like, okay, I need to, you know, spend this money. But also like, you know, everything's been pretty slow lately um, when it comes to um, business and stuff. And it's not just me, it's actually everybody. Um, I know that if you do if you do watch this video you probably watch other like you know um business related content and i'm pretty sure if they do sell physical products and stuff like that they will tell you that you know um things have been slow and i mean it just is what it is it could be a numerous amount of reasons but you know we're low-key kind of like in a um i was about to say inflation but we're low-key in uh you guys know the word if the word comes to me i'll put it on the screen but we're low-key in that in that um in that time so a lot of people i guess are like you know just saving up more or it could just be that you know it's about to be the holidays and a lot of people are saving up to just you know actually start spending and stuff like that but i mean i'm still getting orders and stuff like that and i don't know i just feel like maybe i should just not even maybe i'm just gonna just do it because i mean they're just gonna be there um on the site and if they want to purchase it they're gonna purchase it and stuff like that but um 
the sales goal that I do have for Black Friday. I mean, I kind of have to order this amount of, you know, inventory if I am trying to reach that goal because what I have to think about it is I can't keep ordering the same amount and like hiring up my goal. That doesn't make sense because I will, the inventory amount that I'm gonna sell, even if I do sell, I won't even equate to the goal that I want. So um, regardless, I would have to, you know, keep upping my inventory to make sure that um, even if the inventory is more, at least I'll still be able to be within that range um, to at least reach my goal. But I kind of just wanted to touch on that, um, especially if people are scared to like spend money on inventory, just do it, especially if it's something that you're not going to, um, something that doesn't go bad or something that you know that doesn't maybe take up too too much space now if it does take up too much space and you have you don't have space for all that inventory and all that extra stuff then i would say just be a little bit more mindful of that but if you do have the space and everything and you still get consistent sales and stuff i would say just do it because scared money don't make no money but anyway, but anyways enough with that and like me you know rambling on but um i kind of just wanted to go in a little bit on how i was able to like order the type of inventory that i you know think that my you know customers will want and everything and honestly it just goes based off two things i believe two or three things but i think it's just two things one um i always do surveys on my insta story like that's definitely something that never like steers me wrong so one i would definitely ask them no, actually, I do three polls most of the time. The first poll is, um, what are their head size? So I can know, like, how much people have wear mediums, how much people wear large, how much people um, wear smalls. Now, of course, this is not going to be, like, everybody, but it's going to give me a good range to see how much people are wearing whatever size so I can know what range um, or what amount of each size that I need to, like, you know, purchase. So I do that. And then second, I would ask them what type of texture they would like. Like, would they like body wave? Do they like curly? Do they like straight? Do they like whatever? So I definitely ask them that so I can know what type of textures to stay within or, like, what type of texture that I do need to bring in. And lastly, I would ask them what type of wig that I've created that they want me to bring back so I can know what type of wig that I want to create for whatever sale but in, in this case is for black friday so there is a lot of styles that i created and i have never created again um but you know i would like to know that to see if there is an interest in any of those you know styles so i can know which one that i should create that i know that people are going to be excited to actually you know purchase when black friday do come in the sale and everything so i definitely do that that first and normally that does help me like really well because it'll just give me a good range of what I you know should stay in between and secondly I go based off of like you know my orders and everything so I'll go based off my orders and I basically check to see what consistent lengths that you know the customers are ordering like for me personally I realized that most of the customers stay between the range 22 22 24 26 and sometimes 28 so i know around those those four lanes are the most popular ones that they you know purchase and stuff like that so i know that i need to stay within that range but then also i realized that they do like you know the bob units or like the maryland ones that i have which are like 14 inches so with knowing those things or like just going over like old orders and of course the um longer you've been doing it the more you will realize or you'll just catch up on like you know be like okay i realized a lot of them order this length or i realized a lot of them order this type of style and stuff so it'll probably just come to you as like you know um you continue like getting orders and stuff and you know you deal more with customers and stuff so that definitely helps and lastly if you do have shopify i don't know if you have shopify but if you do sell anything i would hope you're on shopify because shopify honestly is one of the best platforms i mean i know you hear everybody say that but it really is good it really does its job um when it comes to like you know e-commerce and stuff like that but um if you do have shopify there is this um thing when you go on the home screen it actually shows you what are your most visited units what are your most visited units i don't think no it doesn't tell you the length but it does tell you which units that people when people come on their site that they check more more frequently so by me knowing that i can put that in the back of my head or i can write it down and be like okay um lately these are the styles and units that everybody have been checking for so let me make sure i you know get those styles and length and stuff together 
so after i've done those search i guess you can say those are like research background research and like surveys and stuff now that i got that in the way i can um move on to actually you know writing down what type of styles i want to do and then after i write down the styles i go down into the lengths and since i already know the length of what everybody is like you know um asking for i can go ahead and just put next to the small medium and large i can put the length of what i would want for each particular one now most of the time i mean this is a very like guessy type situation but um it's more so like an educated guess because i did do like you know the research and stuff like that when it came to like me knowing the links and stuff so that part is a little bit like you know guessy but i do know me majority um majority of the people wear like mediums with me so i know that i always need to make sure that i have more mediums than like smalls or large so mine's basically go with medium small and large meaning like the least people amount the least amount of people wear larger than stuff like that so that's kind of how i go based off of it, but since I am ordering about 50 units um, the way that I did it was I wrote down the the units name and I actually order out of each category for each wig um, I order one small yeah I order one small one large and two mediums and I did that for all the orders until I was able to get you know 50 units and stuff like that so that's the way I did it I mean um, I'm pretty sure there's other ways for you to come to that conclusion of course it's not I mean mine isn't like um, mine isn't the only way or set in stone way that you can figure out like what type of inventory to order but of course i would say me highly recommend just you asking your you know audience base what what length that they like and most of the time they'll tell you if you just ask so i would say just go ahead and ask but um but yeah let me know in the comments down below which ways do you come up with different like you know um ways for you to figure out what inventory to bring in and stuff especially if you do sell um wigs and everything but yeah so that's kind of what i've been in the process of doing now of course you guys are going to get more videos like this like black friday related videos because we are close to black friday and i actually already ordered like so many things that um that i am already gonna need for black friday i think i'm gonna do like a little home shoot and everything i think i want to create like custom boxes like all these different ideas that i have um in my head and i need to make sure that i'm able to actually execute those ideas and especially the amount of time that i do have i do need to make sure i just get on it but i am gonna try my best to like record it for you guys so you guys can see behind the scenes because you guys seem to really like you know the behind the scenes type of like um videos when it comes to like the business and stuff well i know you guys did last year so i think i'm gonna do the exact same thing um if you guys are interested but if you guys are interested in my mini you know black friday series um vlog and like you know sit down videos then make sure you guys like comment and subscribe so i know you guys do want more videos like this or just make sure you just help me in the comments down below so i can you know just keep them coming i mean even if you don't comment i'm still gonna you know i'm still gonna go ahead and just do it but yeah but i hope um i answered the person's question i hope it wasn't too long-winded which it most likely was but yeah but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was helpful please make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one bye